Hello everybody, Warrior Fire here, and welcome back to more uh, Pokemon Sword. Last time, we uh, explored a uh, most of uh, still inside. There's still uh, just the gym uh, left, as well as something up uh, that way. But we'll be saving that for later. This time. We're going to be challenging uh, this Dawnside gym. So well, first up, I'm gonna go ahead and have a look at the uh, uh, the street market. Right, today's bargain is uh, sharp beak. Uh, not gonna worry about it. Not the miracle seed either. So what's next? Uh, sharp beak again. Well, that's uh, pretty useless. Today it's a big pearl. And sold. So let's uh, not waste any more time and uh, head into the gym. And first stop, uh, the ball guy. That bag on uh, your back is looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this uh, very special Pokeball. Got the heavy ball. It's better at catching very heavy Pokemon. Now. Hi. Do you believe that this uses a vastly different uh, formula for catching than uh, other Pokeballs? Yeah! The heavy ball is, uh. uh hately different. Uh, using, uh. a uh, uh, plus or minus modifier instead of, a uh, uh, Multiply it. Yeah, the Bulbapedia page on the Heavy Ball is missing the uh, Sword and Shield uh, weight thresholds uh, for the uh, Heavy Ball uh, modifier. So, uh, that's the really uses uh, uh, Gen 7 uh, uh, modifiers. Which cuts at uh, plus uh, 30. Uh. So, uh, fun uh, fact uh, and uh, crystal only uh, it's a glitch uh, that caused the retrieved weights of a uh, Kadabra, Tauros, uh, and uh, Sunflora to become uh, junk data. That ended up uh, interpreted as uh, massive uh, weights, uh, causing them to uh, be it, uh, yeah, so heavy that they fall into the plus uh, 40 uh, Capture modifier uh, range, which is reserved for uh, uh, Pokemon uh, at least uh, 903 pounds. I'm going to include a link for the heavy ball, uh, all in the description below. If you happen to be a Bulbapedia user, who uh, can figure that uh, out what the ranges are for the heavy ball modifiers, that could be very useful for you. Heavy balls rock and roll at uh, catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, right? If uh, you're a fan of big heavy Pokemon, uh, 
And this is the Pokeball for you. It, uh, it's actually uh, or one of the worst uh, Pokeballs. Uh. Now, this guy. I'm doing my gym challenge while I'm raising my Pokemon, but I may have to change my team members. Yeah, it can uh, be rough, uh, especially if it... Uh, we're focusing on uh, one type. And the upcoming gym uh, would be able to sweep them uh, uh, with uh, just their first uh, Pokemon. Uh, hey, it's our fan. And, uh, or get if it, it had evolved uh, uh, previously. Uh, though I don't think we saw them at the uh, uh, Motostoke Gym. But our Blitbug has a. Uh, Evolved. Uh, I can't even remember uh, the name of uh, the middle stage uh, beyond screen. Uh, yeah. Final form is uh, Orbeetle, which I uh, remember quite well thanks to uh, the shiny Orbeetle I caught during it. The uh, uh, end game uh, segment uh, in my original playthrough. You've come all the way to Stone Side, so be sure to win. Yep, I definitely plan on that. Any challengers have already given up their gym challenges, but you and uh, your Pokemon have been hanging in there. Yep. And, uh, that's, uh, everything. Still no reason for that second, uh, Galarian Yamask caught, uh, earlier, but... It's, uh, still coming up, uh... You're a gym challenger, right? Are you going to apply to challenge this gym? Yeah, I am. Hmm. Then head to the changing room and uh, change into your uniform. Then uh, go to the gym mission room. Now, the Stone Side gym mission is uh, definitely uh, one of the more interesting ones. Go, number 392. Uh, got what's, uh, what can be loosely defined as a maze. Allow me to explain the gym mission for Stone Side's gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate this uh, fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right, and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate it to the left to make it make the cup spin left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quickly as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. Now, have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Then on you spin, and good luck! And uh, shield, the mission is uh, exactly the same. It's just got a different uh, aesthetic. Right? And... It's, uh, pretty simple. Yep, 
And after uh, every uh, uh, yeah, maze, uh, and I use that term it loosely, you will be facing a trainer. They are all required. This uh, first one... Uh, Uh, you will be facing a different, uh, trainer, uh, in S.H.I.E.L.D., and they have a, uh, a differing amount of Pokemon, uh, You look pretty dizzy. Are you sure you can battle in that condition? <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, uh, Ian. And he starts off with this duffel. Oh, uh, Vivian. Let's give him a side beam. Now, Stuffle's a pure normal type, so. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, normal fighting. Uh. Oh, either way, it, it still goes down a. Uh, very fast. And no level ups. And his last Pokemon is uh, Beware. Eh, shield. Instead, be facing a uh, gym trainer Clive uh, with his uh, three Pokemon uh, Pumpkaboo, uh, Phantom, and uh, Pumpkaboo. Ooh, go for a takedown. And it was a crit. Well, that'll make a side beam hit a little harder. Oh, no. misjudged that. And misspoke at the same time. Yeah, shouldn't be too much of a problem. The bind. Well, that's uh, one uh, very tight uh, uh, bear hug. Here's takedown again. Uh, Vivian just held on. Enough to take down Beware. Good. Level ups uh, for Vivian, Neo, and Glyph. And Glyph wants to learn a curse. A move that works differently for the ghost type than for all other types. Ah, non ghost types. Uh, Sin attack and defense buff uh, at the cost of lower speed. Overall, not uh, too bad. Can definitely be helpful. Ghost type. Cuts the user's HP to apply a damage over time effect uh, on the opponent. It can be a useful, but uh, it's much more risky than uh, the non-ghost uh, variant. Also, fun fact, uh, prior to uh, Gen uh, 6, you know, Gen 5, uh, Curse uh, was a question mark, question mark, question mark uh, type. Uh, the only uh, move it uh, that uh, really fit that. In fact, it's the only move of that type. If you can even call it a type.
don't know why it was like that, but it's a, probably a good thing that they uh, yeah just finally decided to make it a ghost type uh, in it uh, black and white. Not going to learn curse uh, here because it's a uh, uh, wrong variant of curse. I'm dizzy. No, I'm completely dazzled. What an incredible battle! Right, and uh, I defeating uh, uh, gym trainers. These uh, warp uh, tiles uh, activate, which uh, will allow you to warp uh, out of uh, the gym uh, and with the draw from the challenge. Uh, Yeah, not gonna be making use of uh, that. And with the Vivian all healed up, yeah, and uh, move on to the next uh, one. So, another thing to note. Uh, you with a draw from a uh, attempt uh, and uh, come back later. Fortunately, you don't have to refight uh, any of uh, the uh, trainers you've already beaten. Now, here we've got uh, boxing gloves. Uh, That one and uh, I'll uh, bounce you forward. Uh. Depending on the size, it can be a, a yeah helpful. Well, I'll tend to be helpful uh, regardless. Uh. Hey, next trainer. Our gym mission is like a theme park attraction. What do you think? It's a uh, very uh, uh, teacup ride. Uh. Here I've got uh, gym trainer Claire uh, with her Galarian Farfetched. Uh, the only Pokemon she has, uh, which makes this uh, battle quicker. Her counterpart in the shield is Gym Trainer Lin, who also has only one Pokemon, Galarian Corsola. But right here, let's just go for this high beam. Let's try that again. Okay, that's an uncommon occurrence. Hey, not uh, trying for the hat trick. And uh, considering that uh, Vivian is uh, faster than uh, uh, Galer that Galarian Farfetch'd, oh, uh, 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 Claire was doing was delaying the inevitable. What a formidable battle style! I can feel a good sense of uh, balance coming from you. Yep. Uh, and now for the final maze. Uh, this one uh, definitely going to be a uh, making use of a. Uh, all of it, the uh, boxing gloves. Oh. All right, Mario Party One uh, uh, time.
And right here, you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Uh, and hey, no hole burned into my uh, right palm. Ah, the last uh, gym trainer. Our job is to defeat all the reckless gym challengers. Yeah, good thing I'm not reckless. Isn't that right, Simon? Starting with the Hitmon Lee. Oh, time for a side beam. Uh, revenge. Did some pretty decent damage, uh, despite the uh, type disadvantage. Because, uh, Revenge is uh, a lot like a uh, flail. Basically, uh, if we call you in a smash, uh, it's basically uh, how it works. Lower uh, our HP, the more damage uh, it'll do. Now let's uh, finish off hit Monly with the side beam. Uh, And John was very close to a level up. Now for Hitmonchan. In Shield, uh, 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 Simon's counterpart is uh, uh, Gym Trainer Roy with the uh, Haunter and uh, Drift Blim. You know, he is uh, neither a. Uh, her, uh, Sword a wielder or a, a turtle. Well, time to side beam uh, this uh, Hitmonchan. Hit crit. Uh. Hey, and uh, he's confused. Now, one more side beam should. Finish it. And Hitmonchan goes down. Yeah, level ups for Vivian and John. Thank you for reminding me of uh, what it was like to be a gym challenger. And with that, uh, we have uh, officially finished uh, 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 the Still On Side Gym mission. Let's go ahead and clear this up real quick. Then uh, heal up Vivian. Uh, and, uh, good to. Uh, Advance up the stairs. Goal! Gym mission cleared! Welcome, Gym Challenger. I'm B. Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved, uh, no matter how much uh, you are attacked? Uh, I think I'll just uh, test that out, uh, shall I? And a uh, challenge by Gym Leader B. Uh, leading off with a uh, hit on top, uh, level 34 fighting type, uh, technician for its ability, uh, and the moves uh, triple kick, quick attack, uh, counter, and revenge. Uh, shield. Uh, 
Debbie facing uh, Alistair. He leads with uh, 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 Galarian Yamask, uh, level 34, uh, ground uh, ghost type, uh, wandering spirit for its ability, uh, with the moves uh, Brutal Swing, uh, Hex, and uh, Disable. Yes, for Hitmontop, uh, give him a side beam. And there's Revenge. Again, getting off a good hit because of uh, uh, how uh, Revenge is calculated. Uh, a dazzling gleam to finish him off. Uh, and it was a crit. Hey, level ups for Hydra and a Scorchfield. Scorchfield wants to learn a counter. It's the retaliation move that counters any physical attack, inflicting double the damage taken. Yeah, it could be uh, useful. But it does uh, rely on uh, being able to predict uh, the opponent. Hey, right. back with the uh, Bia. Can easily uh, do that and uh, have it counter for uh, all of her Pokemon. But. Gonna go ahead and pass on it. Next is uh, Pangoro, level 34, uh, fighting dark type with uh, Mold Breaker for its ability, allowing it to ignore uh, abilities uh, that uh, restrict uh, moves. Uh, it's one of the ways to get around a Wonder Guard. Eh, has the moves uh, Bullet Punch, Circle Throw, Night Slash, and Work Up. Night Slash is the biggest worry. And uh, being a Dark type, it's immune to Side Beam. But uh, as long as uh, Vivian doesn't go down, uh, Dazzling Gleam will uh, be a doubly effective. Well, All right, Scorchfield, you're up. And double kick. <laughs> Definitely need a better move uh, than double kick. Uh. Maybe this uh, one should take it down. Uh. Oh, and Pangoro goes down. Right, uh, got, uh, uh shield, uh, Alistair will, uh, instead have, a uh, Mimikyu, uh, level 34, uh, Ghost of Fairy type, the uh, disguise, uh, for its ability, uh, allows it to basically ignore one, uh, direct attack, uh, uh once the disguise breaks, it does take a, uh, bit of damage. That yeah, change from uh, Gen 7 where this guy's just uh, uh, completely uh, ate an attack. Uh, no uh, restrictions. Much uh, to the chagrin of uh, 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 the ghost uh, trial. Uh, where uh, uh, 
first instinct is uh, it uh, it uh, 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 totem Pokemon with the Z move. I'm definitely guilty of that uh, a couple times. Hey, it has the moves uh, Shadow Snake, uh, Baby Doll Eyes, Pone Claws, and a Slash. With no level ups there. But next is uh, Surf Etched, uh, level 35 uh, fighting type, uh, the Steadfast Forward's ability, uh, and the moves Detect, Sword Stance, Brutal Swing, and Revenge. Uh, the only Pokemon that uh, have a super effective damage against uh, me is a uh, huge draw. And he's weak against the uh, fighting moves, which makes him a risk. And shield. Uh, Uh, Alistair will send out a uh, uh, curse of uh, level 35 uh, ghost type, uh, weak armor for disability, uh, and the moves uh, ancient power, curse, and uh, X. It evolves from a uh, Galarian uh, Corsola. Uh, Alright, go ahead and try doing this. Uh, she went for detect. Uh, that's going to help. Oh, Zen Headbutt. Hey, and we out beat him. Wow! Alright, John, you're up. Yeah, let's go for the toxic. Let's go for the Venishock. Good. Yeah, level up for Glyph. It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Our last of Pokemon. Machamp, level 36, uh, fighting type, guts for its ability, uh, with the moves uh, Scary Face, Revenge, Knockoff, and a Strength. Uh, uh, shield, uh, Alistair uh, has a Gengar, level 36, Ghost of Poison type, uh, Cursed Body for its ability, with the moves uh, Venishock, Hex, Hypnosis, and Payback. I uh, know what she's going to be doing. Uh, Max, who's uh, definitely going to be good for uh, John. Max Fast Phantasm, probably not as helpful. Uh, especially with uh, uh, John being a special attacker. Uh, Max Overgrowth. Uh, 
definitely be helpful as well. Let's go for the max ooze. Fine then, let's just destroy everything. Your skill is worthy of respect. And Gigantamaxing. Yep. Got Gigantamax uh, the champ. Uh. to get to see it. Uh, uh, that's not here. It Gigantamax uh, the champ uh, as a uh, instead of a uh, uh, fighting type max move. Uh, it's a G Max uh, G Strike. Uh, The uh, combos with uh, the focus energy and uh, it's uh, able to stack uh, with itself. Alistair's uh, Gengar is also capable of a Gigantamaxing. It has its own uh, uh, G Max move. G Max Terror. And uh, it's a damage plus mean look. Go for another max uh, ooze. Another max strike. And John goes down. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a little uh, tough. Champ does have a dark move, uh, so Glyph's not a good choice. Neo's probably not a good choice either. Oh, you're up, Scorched Field. And just gonna have to go for the pyro ball. Ah, uh, don't get the animation because of it. Gigantamax and Hot Champ. It's a uh, full animation. Ooh, level up the for Scorch Field into Neo. I felt the fighting spirit of uh, your Pokémon as you led them in battle. Thank you for the battle. Phew. Facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team. I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle. But it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge.
And shield instead get the ghost badge. But you can now catch a Pokemon uh, up to level 40. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of the, those encounters will nourish uh, your spirit. Challenger Michael, congratulations on defeating it, Leader B. Please take this TM to remember your victory by. The TM42 Revenge! Well, I have explained it. Uh, and take one of our fighting gym uniforms as well, uh, as a souvenir. The fighting badge suits you, Michael. I hope you'll carry on just as uh, you've been doing. Now uh, let's go and check out uh, Pokemart. Ew, you can now buy uh, Hyper Potions. Uh, probably a bit uh, too much uh, uh, for uh, HP recovery, uh, but I will go ahead and pick up a few. And that's uh, pretty much everything uh, you can get in here. I was about to be give up, uh, but watching your battle inspired me. I decided uh, I'd keep going. Yeah. Good for you. I'll learn from the battle you had against the fighting type uh, gym leader. Uh, that's uh, good to hear. Think for... What's, uh, coming up? I'll go ahead and lead with the hue draw. Yay, you won! Michael, you are so wicked! Yep. And... I think, uh, that's gonna go ahead and do it for today. Next time! Well, I did uh, explain uh, what's going on, but. Uh, don't want to uh, spoil that. Let's just say. Uh, yeah, it has to do with the one area of Hesto inside that we haven't been to yet. See you guys then.